in our voices to say, you are holy. Holy, you are holy. There is no other God like you. You are the King of Kings and you are the Lord of Lords. Excellent God, mighty God, Kayaba Soto, blessed be your name. Oh, somebody speak to the Lord. Worship the Lord this morning. Re Kayaba Soto Mokoriande. Re Telebe Keriba Sondo. Lord, we declare there is no other king like you. Blessed be your name. And the Bosoto Bokori and the Boko Sanda. Our worship comes to you. Our worship this morning comes to you. Blessed be your name, O Lord. You who makes wars to cease. You who bless us every morning. Oh, receive our worship this morning. Waymaker, miracle walking God. The ancient of days. Adonai Elohim. Great and mighty God. Rekande Bosoto. Receive our worship, O Lord. Rekande Reboko. We declare you are holy. We declare you are mighty. We declare you are worthy. Blessed are you, O Lord, O God. We join the angels. We join the hosts of heaven to declare your majesty. To declare your majesty. Maker of heaven and earth. Maker of the universe. Receive our worship, Lord. Robo Sanda Bakariande. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Lord. Name of God, you are seated at the right hand of the Father. You are holy. Holy, you are holy. Name of God, name of God, seated, seated. At the right hand of the Father, you are holy, holy Lord, holy. I am a cosander. You are the Lamb of God. Hey. Hallelujah, you are seated. Ay, 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 ay. Hallelujah, Lord. Hey. Ay, ay, ay. intercession for me. Hey, hey, name of God, name of sin at the right end of Orabakosanda Bakoriande. You are holy, holy, holy. Lord, you are the Salute you, Lord. 
Sata, Aya, Lebota. Hallelujah. You are seen it. Oh, Rabakoto. Era Bakian de Lebosa.
Somebody sing, you are faithful. You are faithful. Faithful, faithful, faithful. Yes, you are faithful, faithful, faithful. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Yes, you are faithful. You are faithful. Faithful, faithful, faithful. Take a moment and worship this Lord. Bless him. Bless the Lord this morning. Worship him in the beauty of his holiness. He is faithful. He is awesome. He is mighty. He is wonderful. He is excellent. He is God by himself. Father, we worship you. We bless you. There is none like you. Ancient of days, the I am that I am, the Lord that was and is and is to come, the Lord who does not disappoint. What you say you will do, that is what you do. You promise on at the beginning of the year, you will keep to us up to the end. And here we are, you have kept to your word, you are still doing it, Lord. We bless you this morning. We travel up and down the same road people travel and they die. It's the same road we travel to and fro and we came back alive. We bless you, Lord. We honor you, Lord. You are the God of all the earth. You are the God of your universe. No one appointed you. No one elected you. No one voted for you. You are God all by yourself. You don't need uh, the approval of a man before you are God. You don't need uh, the confirmation of anyone before you are God. You have been God throughout the ages and you will continue to be God. That's why we come this morning to worship you. We come to bless you. We come to declare that you are great. You are faithful. You are awesome. You are mighty. We are not saying it because we heard people say it. We are not saying you are awesome because we read about it. We are not saying you are great because somebody told us about you. It is because we have come to you. We have tried you. We have tested you. And you have shown yourself to us. You have proved your faithfulness to us. And this morning, we declare you will continue to be God. You will continue to be our God. We will continue to worship you. For we know all other gods, they are the works of men. Beside you, there is no other God. We cannot even compare you to any other God because as far as we are concerned, they are non-existence. They are all under our feet. You are the God Almighty. We bless you this morning. We honor you, O God. In the name of Jesus, we praise you. We worship you. We honor you. We exalt your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. If you can hear me this morning, if you can breathe this morning, if your hands are functioning this morning, I want you to put those hands together and clap for the Lord, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the ancient of this, the I am that I am. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You may be seated in the presence of God. Hallelujah. 
Aleluya. 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 We thank God. God is faithful. He has been doing so much in our lives. Some of those things we have not even seen. But all we can say is God is faithful. And he has been so good to us. Amen. I welcome you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. For everyone who is here in the house. And for all of you who are joining us online. We welcome you in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you real good. Amen. Hallelujah. Please put your hands together and celebrate the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. It's the presence of God has ever been so powerful. And uh, what if I tell you we are yet to recover from the EFP? We are yet the the moment you enter the house, especially the place where we use at the studio, you just feel that presence of God. You feel the power of God and things are still happening. Testimony are still coming in. Even we still feel it in our body. I don't know about you. The effect is still there. So it, it tells me that when God comes to visit, he doesn't just leave and you say, oh, he's gone. The residue will continue to be there. Hallelujah. And we thank God for his presence. Hallelujah. We pray that our body will, I don't know if this body will get used, we go back to normal. <laughs> Hallelujah. But it's the temple of God anyway. It is the temple of God, so we surrender everything to him. Amen. Woman of God, you are welcome. God bless you. Worship him. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. This is the month of total praise. It's our month of total praise and I welcome you once again to December, the month of total praise. Hallelujah. And also I welcome the, the latest couple in town. Hallelujah. They are looking so excellently, magnificently beautiful. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God for your life and the family that came with them. We welcome you. May the Lord bless you and bless you real good. Amen. And uh, I believe at the end of the day, we will still spend time to pray because the journey still continues. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's go to the word of God today. Um. The foundation scripture is the theme for our month, Psalm 146, verse 1 to 2. Hallelujah. And as you do that, this is the first Sunday in the month of, of, of December. And as we normally do, after the message, we we'll pray and there will be a time for prophetic declaration for the month of December. Amen. Please don't be in a hurry to go. Amen. We also acknowledge all the excuses those who have traveled uh we pray for journey mercies that the lord who took them safely will bring them back safely hallelujah amen psalm 146 verse 1 to 2 if you are there can i hear you amen hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah i'm reading from the amplified version Praise the Lord, hallelujah, which means early when you hear praise the Lord, the meaning is hallelujah. Anytime you say hallelujah is praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, oh my soul. While I live, I will praise the Lord. I will sing praises to my God as long as I live. Father, bless the reading of your word. As we release this word, let the heart of the people be receptive to your word. Father, that which you have prepared to do from the foundation of the earth, do it without any delay. In the name of Jesus, I humble myself and I pray. As I alter this word, it will come straight from your throne. And that which you want to do, do it. We remove any hindrances. And at the end of this day, everybody will go home celebrating the goodness of God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. That amen can be louder. 
Hallelujah. I know, like Memero was saying when she was leading us in prayer, this is the time that the body is tired. Hallelujah. And it is normal when you walk from January to December, especially with all that we went through in this nation in this year, the body has the right to be tired. But you need to tell the body because the Bible said, praise the Lord, O my soul. So the first thing that praise the Lord is your soul. So through your soul, you tell your body, I know you are tired, but you need to be obedient here. We need to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We need to praise the Lord. So as you are there in this service, maybe you attended a wedding yesterday and the body is tired. Maybe the lack of money has put stress on you or you went shopping. You were shopping because you got your bonus. You shop all around and the body is tired. It's okay for the body to be tired, but you are here. You tell your soul to tell your body. We need to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And this morning I release the strength and the grace to praise the Lord upon your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Who could have believed it? We are here in December. Who could have thought, especially when you rewind back what has happened? May, June, July was terrible. It was terrible. But here we are. God's grace has carried us. Our shepherd has taken good care of us. He provided for us. He protected us. When I say the Lord provided, many people always look at finances. But there are more things than money that the Lord has provided. Even in your weakest time, he provides strength. Even in your lowest step, he provides help us. Hallelujah. People will stand with you. He provides knowledge. He provides wisdom and understanding. He provides so many things and he protected us and that is why you are here. We need to bless the Lord. Just close your eyes and begin to see what the Lord has done. Just take a moment and appreciate God. This morning, just tell God, I thank you. It might be small in the eyes of others, but in your eyes, it is very big. Those moments that you don't think you will make it to the next day, thank God for it. Just say, Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. For what the Lord has done, tell him I will sing hallelujah. For what the Lord is busy doing, we will sing hallelujah. We will praise the Lord. Just thank God. For those who are online, just thank God. The, for the ability to connect, even when you are not in the church, you can still hear the word of God. Thank God. Hallelujah. For oh, what the Lord has done, we will sing hallelujah. For what the Lord is doing, we will sing hallelujah. And for what the Lord will do, we will sing hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah unto the Lord. Yes, for what the Lord has done, we will sing hallelujah. Thank him for what he's busy doing. What the Lord is doing, we will sing hallelujah. Thank him for what he will still do tomorrow. Hallelujah. We will sing hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah unto the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So this morning, I want to share with you this short, sweet, and simple message. The wonder-working power of praise. The wonder-working power of praise. Hallelujah. The wonder-working power of praise. I'm here this morning to tell you that praise is a powerful tool. Praise is wonderful and praise has the ability to provoke wonders. It has the ability to provoke signs. Hallelujah. You see, many people are going around day and night. They are looking for signs and wonders everywhere. When they hear there is a noise there, they rush there to go look for signs, they, to look for wonders. They want to, they are going from pillar to post to look for miracles. 
Miracles are wonderful anyway. I love miracles because it announces how powerful our God is. Hallelujah. I believe in signs and wonders because our God is a God that does signs and wonders. But many people are looking for this beautiful thing. Signs, wonders, and miracles. But as much as they go around, they don't get what they are looking for. Little do people know that God has given us a great and wonderful avenue to provoke sign and wonder. The sign and wonder you are looking for, God has given us a great avenue to provoke it anywhere you find yourself. Any time of the day, any time of the year, you have the ability through the grace of God, the help of God and the power of God to provoke sign and wonder. And that avenue is to praise God. Hallelujah. Praise is an avenue through which you can provoke signs and wonder. Hallelujah. Praise is a great ingredient that can be used to manufacture signs and wonders. And when you talk of signs and wonders, what it is? Sign, what is it? Sign and wonder is the manifestation and the move of the power and the hand of God. It is when God step in and make the natural to be supernatural. God's adding the super to the natural. That is signs. That is wonders. Hallelujah. And you can provoke it to make signs and wonder manifest in your life. Through what? Through praise. Hallelujah. When you consciously make up your mind to always give God praise... Come watch me. You will not be looking for signs and wonder everywhere. But you will be a child of God that is provoking signs and wonders. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 18, chapter 8 verse 18. Isaiah chapter 18 verse 88 verse 18. Sorry. He said, be old, high, and the children whom the Lord has given to me. We are for what? We are for signs and wonders. Hallelujah. Myself and the children that God has given to me, myself and my family, we are for signs and wonders. I declare to you, I declare over your life today that as you and your family are here in the presence of God, you shall serve the Lord. You shall always praise the Lord and your praise shall provoke signs and wonders in the name of Jesus. I pray for somebody this morning that your soul, your soul, your soul will be in a permanent condition to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. King David said in Psalm 142, verse 1 to 2, we read, he said, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, my soul. While I live, I will praise the Lord. I will sing praises to my God as long as I live. David must have known something about praise and the wonders it provokes. Because why will he declare as long as I live, I will praise the Lord. He must have found the secret in the power of praise. He must have found that there is a wonder working power in praise. That's why you will read the old psalm. Almost every psalm you will hear David say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Everything that has bread, praise the Lord. That psalm was written from his experience in praising God and what praise has done for him. That's why he said, as long as I live, <laughs> I will praise the Lord. In Psalm 103 verse 1, he said, bless the Lord and affectionately praise the Lord, my soul, and all that is deep within me. Bless his holy name. He also said in Psalm 92 verse 1, he said, it is good. It is good. How will Africans say? It is good. Yeah. I nearly say lekka. 
Leka is nice. Yeah, it's also nice to praise the Lord. Say, it is good to praise the Lord and to make music to your name. This means that David wants every reader who comes across the word of God to experience the wonder-working power of praise in his or her life every day. And I'm bringing you this word to you because God, who said this month is a month of total praise, wants you to experience that wonder-working power through praise in your life. And that is what you shall receive this month. That is what you shall experience in the name of Jesus. When you talk of praise, you can read all about it, talk about different definition of praise in, in Greek and Hebrew, but this is no Bible study. I will make it simple. Hallelujah. Before I begin, I go deep into to the, the word. When you say praise the Lord, hallelujah, it simply means you are thanking God for his blessing. It means you are declaring the good news of what God has done to God himself and also to others. So when you praise God, when you give total praise, you are giving praise in two dimensions. You are praising God for what he has done and telling him, this is what you have done, I acknowledge it. And you are telling everything on earth, things under the earth and things in the heaven and everyone around you, how good God has been to you. Hallelujah. Praise is an outward expression, not just to God, but like I say, it is to tell others how God is. So when you praise God, there's a level where you wake up, you say, you are, Lord, I praise you. But there is another level where you have to praise God loud for others to hear you praising God. The Bible said in the book of Acts chapter 16, while Paul and Silas were in the prison, the Bible said they were singing praises loud enough for others to hear. They were not soliloquizing, talking to themselves. They were speaking loud. So when God said, give me total praise, he wants you to praise God. He wants you to praise him. Not for him to hear alone. For the devil to hear. For the enemy to hear. For your friends to hear. For everyone to know that you are serving a living God. Even those who told you you will not make it. Praise God in their ears. Hallelujah. Those who said you will not make it to this day. Praise God in their ears. Hallelujah. Let the Mutellos tell those who said this marriage will not work. Let them hear you praising the Lord. Hallelujah. Those who have been telling you you're coming to God, serving God is a waste of time. Giving to God is a waste of time. You need to open your mouth and praise God. For those who have been telling you, pastors are eating your money. Don't give offering. Don't give tithe. If you give offering, give tithe, you will become broke. You will stand here in December and lift up your hand and proclaim, praise the Lord. I gave to the Lord and I see half more than enough. That is total praise. Hallelujah. This is the true foundation of praise. Praising God for God to hear and for others to hear. Praising God doesn't necessarily mean it is with music every time. It doesn't mean singing every time. That is why you can praise God in your room. You can praise God on your social media. Hallelujah. You can praise God when you are sleeping, when you are driving. And when you come to God, in the house of God, you can as well praise the Lord. True praise comes from a deep heart. A heart that understands the power and the greatness of God. A heart that appreciates God. A man who doesn't know God cannot praise God. Because when anything happens, they will attribute it to something else. They can praise God. I met a friend of mine during lockdown 2020. 
and I saw him in town and I saw that he has bought a new car. And I said, wow, doc, you've bought a new car. Congratulations. God is good. This is the blessing of God. He looked at me and said, it's not the blessing of God. It is hard work. That person cannot praise God because he doesn't have relationship with God. I look at him. I say, my friend, it is God. Even with all your hard work, do you realize many people died? It's only a man that has relationship with God that will say, this is God. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. Hallelujah. The wonders of praise. Hallelujah. When it comes to God, Praise has been known as a offering that moves God. Praise throughout history is an offering you give to God. And it moves God to act in a supernatural way to change situation and circumstances. And it is my belief that in this month, as you go forth in giving God your total praise, it will move in your life. It will act supernaturally. It will bring change in circumstances and situations in the name of Jesus. David understood this very well. That is why he said in Psalm 34, he said, his praise will continually be in my mouth. You see, when something works, why will you stop it? If you try something and it is working, you continue. In sport, they say you don't change a winning formula. You don't change a winning team. So if praise has been working for David, he said, all the days of my life, 24-7, even in my dream, I will be praising God. Because praise provoke wonders. Praise, move the hand of God. Hallelujah. God wants you today to give him praise. Not just any praise, total praise. Let everything in me praise the Lord. Let everything that has bread praise the Lord. My eyes will praise the Lord. My nose, my mouth, my heart, my soul, my kidney, my liver, my legs, everything will praise the Lord. Total praise is what I shall give to the Lord. Hallelujah. Things might not be what you expect them to be. You might be sitting here listening to me with unfulfilled prophecies. Maybe this morning when you woke up, you woke up with pain. Hallelujah. The enemy might seem to be winning on certain aspects of your life. But I'm here to tell you, whatever the case is, you, God wants you to give him total praise. God wants you to give him total praise in the name of Jesus. Now, what are the wonders that this praise will provoke? There are many, but I will just share a few with you. Hallelujah. When you praise God, you will bring down the presence of God. Hallelujah. Psalm 22 verse 3 said, God inhabit the praises of his people. When you bring down the presence of God, as you praise God, you can now begin to imagine what will happen. If some people are fighting in your neighborhood, throwing themselves up and down, or you notice why you are in your house, in the middle of the night, some people are trying to force your door to be open. And you call the police. And the police arrive in the street. Even before they get to your house, they put on that siren. Those people, the moment they hear, do you think they will stay to still do what they are busy with? Do you think they will? They will flee. Imagine God Almighty. Who makes the heaven and earth. The ruler of the universe. The Bible says when you praise him. You bring down his presence. He will come and say who is that one praising me. 
And when God comes down, he will see what is going on around. Hallelujah. Let me give you a little illust another illustration that will make you to understand how powerful it is when you praise God and you bring down the praises, the, the presence of God. If in your neighborhood, if every neighborhood is tied and in your neighborhood the road is bad and you decide to have a program, decide to bring the president or the minister of works and housing who is responsible for the role. And as they are bringing him, because he is the guest of honor at this function, he is now coming and the car is jacking up and down because the road is not tied. And it comes to that function in that community center. Do you think the president or the minister will live there without asking, why is this road not tied? He will ask who is in charge because according to the budget, we have released money for this road to be tied. Who is responsible? I'm telling you immediately. When he leaves the next day, they will start to repair. And that is God. When you praise him, it comes down. And he said, who is this? The angels will say, this is Solomon praising you. And immediately God will open the volume of the books. And he will say, but this one that is praising me don't have a car yet. But according to the volume of books in heaven, he is supposed to have a car. This one praising me has got sickness in the body. But according to the volume of books, my son has died and he has given healing. Why is this person still sick? Immediately, he will deal with every demon that is harassing you. When God comes, because you summon him through your praise, he doesn't come like a gentleman. Though he comes as a father to you, but there is another aspect of him that comes in anger, that comes like a caterpillar without break to deal with every demonic force. The children of Israel experienced this. In Exodus chapter 15, do you see the, you, you will see how they describe God when God came down through their praises. They said, who is like unto you, O Lord? Who is like unto you? Among the gods, who is like you? You are glorious in holiness. You are fearful in praise. That when God comes down, he comes with his face like a flea. They say you are fearful in praise. Because the children of Israel praised the Lord and he came down. They saw his hand of deliverance and they saw how fearful he was when he was dealing with Pharaoh and his horsemen. Hallelujah. As you praise God, God will come down in his mighty power and he will settle your matter in the name of Jesus. I say God will settle your matter in the name of Jesus. See, God, when you bring down his presence, he doesn't just live anyhow. In the book of Matthew chapter 21, if you read that story from 9 to 14, Jesus was entering the town. You remember that story? And they were singing, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. What they were doing is they were praising Jesus. They were praising him. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. What happened? The Bible said after that, because they praised him, he came fearfully. He entered the temple and those who we are selling, he chased them out. Can I announce to you, when you praise the Lord, he will come down into your life and every evil thing, buying and selling in your body will be cast out in the name of Jesus. If you have any form of sickness in your body, you have any form of affliction, even if it is coming from the bloodline, as you praise the Lord in this month, God is stepping in, he's stepping in and he's chasing them out. 
in the name of Jesus. Some things you will be told, this is sickness of old age. Who told you? Abraham at the age of 90 something was still vibrant. Caleb at the age of 80 was ready to climb the mountain. At the age of 45, 50, they start telling you this sickness is due to old age. Reject it. Praise the Lord and you will see God chase it out. Hallelujah. You come and say, no, this thing is in the family. My great-grandfather, I heard that he had leukemia uh, and died. Or oh, this one could not see. You see, in our family, left high. When you get to certain age, you start to play. Now I'm reaching that age. I'm seeing it. Who told you? For whosoever is in Christ is a new creation. All things have passed away. And all things have become new. Is there anything in your life you don't like? You don't need to fight. Praise the Lord. Invite the presence of God. Hallelujah. The other thing, what signs and wonders your praise will provoke is that it will give you victory in battle. Your praise will give you victory in battle. Hallelujah. From time to time, we find ourselves in different battles of life. But the word of God said, when you praise him, and we have seen an example there, God will give you victory. In 2 Chronicles chapter 20, we read of the story of King Jehoshaphat. The enemy gathered, common enemy gathered to fight him. And they were too strong for him. But what did they do? After hearing the word of God said, I will give you victory. You don't need to fight this battle. Mm -hmm. They gathered worshipers and they began to praise the Lord. That shall be your story. I don't know what battle you have been fighting. I don't know what has been fighting you. What seems to be pinning you down. And it seems the end is not coming. There is a way out. Rise up and praise the Lord. Give God total praise. As you give him total praise, see the Lord defeat your enemy. The Bible said those people did not lift one finger. They did not lift one finger. When they got to the battlefield, the enemy has been destroyed by the power of God. That was a sign and a wonder. Hallelujah. As you praise the Lord this month, you will look for your enemy and you will not fight them. In the name of Jesus, you will not find them. The enemy you see today, you shall not see them again. As you praise the Lord in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Another wonders that your praise will provoke is that it, it will open doors, prison doors. Hallelujah. In Acts chapter 16 verse 25, the Bible says at midnight, Paul and Silas, who were in prison, prayed and they sang praises unto God and the prisoners heard them. I mentioned that earlier. They prayed. They were in prison and they prayed to God. They did not complain. They didn't say, oh Lord, actually that scripture if you study that scripture, Acts chapter 16 from verse 1, Paul was on his way to Asia to go and preach. The Holy Spirit told them, don't go to Asia. Go to Macedonia because there is a greater work there. And they obeyed the Holy Spirit. Now when they got there, they met a lady who was uh, using familiar spirits. They cast out this demon and from there they were arrested. They were put in prison. They had a choice to say, Lord, why did you stop us from going to Asia where they were waiting to roll a red carpet to receive us? Now you told us, did you actually tell us to come here to go into prison? Because we're God who knows all things. They had the choice to complain, but he chose not to complain. 
The Bible said they prayed and they were singing praises. They were singing so loud that others were hearing. And what happened? At the end of the day, prison doors opened without anybody bringing the key. Jesus said, I am the door. I have the keys. So there is no door, there is no key that can withstand the one who owns the key and the one who is the door. The door came and superimposed himself on the door of the prison. The one who has the key opened the door because they praise. As you praise God in this month, as you give God total praise, uh, the one who is the door will appear on your behalf. The one who has the key will appear on your behalf. Many people are in different prison today. They are prison of sickness, prison of addiction, prisons of stagnation, prison of financial trouble. Whatever is that prison, that you find yourself. I don't care how you got into that prison. I don't care who put you in that prison. All I know is that as you praise the Lord, that prison door will be open. You are coming out. You are coming out of that prison. You are coming out of that prison in the name of Jesus. Some people have been put into the prison of fear due to what has happened in their life. Because of what the enemy has done, they are afraid and they are in that prison. Some will say, I will never drive a car. Because sometime last year, sometimes ago, they were involved in a terrible accident. And they say, I will never drive again. It's a prison. Some have experienced certain traumas in their lives. And because of that, they say, I will never do one or two things again. They are in that fear. It's a prison. Some men or women have been cheated. They've been lied to. And they say, I will never trust anybody. And I always say in this house, if you close your eyes because you saw an evil man passing, before you open your eyes, the good one will have passed. Many are in this prison and they have closed their door, the door to the good men God has sent into their life. Because a woman deceived you yes, last week does not mean every woman are evil. Because a man frustrated you last year doesn't mean every man are evil. There are still good men out there. There are still good women out there. Hallelujah. Today, you are going out of that prison. Praise God today. Choose to praise God. Praise God and you are coming out of that fear. I command that door of fear to be open. That door of paranoia to be open in the name of Jesus. I declare your freedom. I declare your freedom. I declare your freedom in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The devil is a liar. But God has given us the key. The key of praise, which provoked signs and wonders. Hallelujah. There are people who are trying all they can do. In this year, you have done all you can. And since you are meeting a wall, you are meeting a brick wall. You will go to the right, there is a brick wall. You go to the left, there's a brick wall. It seems there is no breakthrough. Anything you try is not working. And you have heard the word of God that I will bless you. But anything you try is not working. But there is something that will work for you. That is praise. The last wonders I'll share with you is that your praise will break down 
it will pull down every wall of barriers. Hallelujah. The wall of Jericho was a barrier to the children of Israel. The Lord spoke to Joshua. Actually, in Joshua chapter 5, he said, I have given you Jericho and his king and his people. But after that, the Bible said, the door was shut. Nobody could go out. Nobody could come in. Fair. Is there any obstacle confronting you? Is there any mountain in front of you? Have you tried this and that and it seems things are not working? Rise up this morning and praise the Lord. Rise up this morning and begin to shout to the Lord. Begin to bless the name of the Lord. And as you do that, every barrier, every limitation, every delay shall be pulled down in the name of Jesus. I declare as you praise this Lord this, this month, every mountain shall be leveled in the name of Jesus. Every strong man standing in your way shall be eliminated in the name of Jesus. As you praise the Lord this month, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, he will come down and he will deal with every enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. This month, the word of the Lord has come to you. I encourage you today. Learn to live a life full of praise. Because praise works wonders. When you are praiseful, you will be joyful. When you are joyful, you will be thankful. And when you are full of thanks, you will have the fullness of life. Give God total praise because it provokes signs and wonders. Hallelujah. Whatever is the matter, this is my encouragement for you. Apply Habakkuk chapter 3, 17 to 19. Let it be at the back of your heart. Let it be in front of your heart. He said, though the fig tree does not blossom, though there is no fruit on the vine, though the yield on the olive tree fails and the field produce no food, though the flock is cut off from the fold, and there are no cattle in the store. Yet, I choose to praise the Lord. The Lord God is my strength. My source of courage, my invincible army. He made my feet steady and sure like hinds feet. And make me walk forward with spiritual confidence on my high place of challenge and responsibility. Habakkuk chapter 3, 17 to 19. Even though I have not seen the answer to my prayers, I will yet praise the Lord. Even if there is no food in my kitchen, I will praise the Lord. Even if I still feel that pain in my leg, I will praise the Lord. Even if my tomorrow looks so gloomy, I will praise the Lord. Knowing that my praise will produce signs and wonders. Amen. Let's rise on our feet as we pray this morning. Hallelujah. I have a reason to praise the Lord. 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 Do you have a reason this morning? I have a reason to praise the Lord. I have a reason to praise the Lord. Yes, I have. I have a reason to praise the Lord. I have a reason to praise the Lord. I have a reason. I have a reason to praise the Lord. Oh. I have a reason to praise the Lord. Oh, 
I have a reason to praise the Lord. I have a reason to praise the Lord. If you have a reason to praise the Lord, I want you to open your mouth and begin to praise the Lord. If you want to shout, just shout. Shout hallelujah. Just tell God how great, how mighty he is. Le soko roko sikala. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We bless you, we bless you. Hallelujah, glory be unto the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord this morning. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord this morning. Let everything in you praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Tell him how great he is. Oh, Shaka Lentolobo. I bless you this morning. I exalt your name. I glorify your name. You are mighty God. You have done wonders. I bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord this morning. I will praise the Lord as long as as I live, I shall praise the Lord. I shall shout hallelujah unto the Lord. Hallelujah. We are going to take that song. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, many. Praise the Lord. Go to say, and I want you to prophetically this morning, just praise the Lord. Irrespective of what is going on, just praise him. Just praise him with this song this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, amen. Hallelujah. 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 Can you wave your hands to the Lord this morning? Hallelujah.
We are declaring that you are God. We are praising you this morning, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, said it is good to praise the Lord and you said we should praise you this morning we are here in your presence Lord, and we are praising you we are praising you because you are the Lord you are the King you are the glorious one we praise you because you are the everlasting Father we praise you because you are the one who sits on the throne and you make the edge your footstool. We praise you because you are the one who bless us. You are the one who brings us out and bring us into the light. We praise you because you are a God who is faithful, who never disappoints. And as we praise you this morning, as we will continue to praise you, we pray that our praise will provoke signs and wonders in our lives. We pray that our praise will bring down your presence and you will inhabit our praise, O oh Lord. As you step into our life, we pray that you will settle all that concerns us. We know the dead cannot praise you. That's why we are praising you and we pray that through our praises, your mighty hand will be upon us and you will keep us through the end of this year. We bless you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray and praise you. Amen. Let's put our hands together. Hallelujah. Amen. Before I call the Michelos, we pray for them. We join our faith together to pray for them. I just want you to prepare your heart because I want to release the prophetic declaration for this month of December 2022. Just open your heart that this word of God coming out will bear fruit in my life. This word will profit me as I had my faith to eat. And all you just have to say it shall be so. Amen. All you have to say is amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Grosaka lintelebo. Gedebo sikala koso jomai. Eshia kalu koso jomai. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for bringing us to the month of December. This December 2022, your hand has carried us. Receive our thanksgiving. In the name of Jesus, I declare today that the Lord who brought you to this day shall make you and your family see the end of this year. In the name of Jesus, I declare you shall end this year well. You shall end this year strong. In the name of Jesus, at the end of this year, no one will be missing in your household. In the name of Jesus, as you give God total praise, I declare that God will come down to inhabit your praise. As the Lord is coming down for you, I declare that the Lord shall settle everything that concerns you. In the name of Jesus, before the end of this year, every outstanding promises will come to pass. Numbers 23 verse 23 says, for there is no enchantment or omen against Jacob, nor is there any divination against Israel. 
At the proper time it shall be said of Jacob and to Israel, what the Lord has done, I declare over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare over the life of your family, there shall not be any enchantment. There shall not be any omen. There shall not be any divination against you. In the mighty name of Jesus, every weapon that rises up against you, every weapon that is formed against you shall not prosper. Every evil eyes trying to see you, to monitor you. I close those eyes. Every evil magical mirror used to monitor people and their glory. I set the fire of God on it. I break those mirrors in the name of Jesus. I declare I, it shall be said of you. It shall be said of your family. Come and see what the Lord has done. Come and see what the Lord has done. In the mighty name of Jesus, I cover you with the blood of Jesus. As you are going out, the Lord will go before you. As you are coming in, the Lord will come before you. In the mighty name of Jesus, anyone that wish you evil, everyone that open or dig a grave for you, they will end up entering into it. In the name of Jesus, evil arrow, I command them back to sender in the name of Jesus. From this day, any agenda of the enemy to take away praise from your mouth is hereby frustrated. I rebuke and refuse any agent of darkness to visit your house. I rebuke sickness. It shall not visit your house. I rebuke death. It shall not visit your house. We break the power of the grave over your life and that of your family. Any gathering of people that will come to visit you, it will not be a visit of mourning. You will not hear the word condolences in the name of Jesus. Any visitation to you from anyone shall be a visitation of congratulation. It shall be a visitation of congratulation. They will see what the Lord has done and they will come to celebrate. You shall celebrate the goodness of God in the name of Jesus. As we are hearing the rumors and the news of negative things, it will not come to your house. It will not come to your family. In the name of Jesus, we hide you in the secret place of the Most High. Anything that attempt to pull you out from there has failed from today. In the name of Jesus, you will stand in January still praising God. You will enter into January praising God. You will finish next year praising God because the Lord will make his face shine upon you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Glory be to God. Put your hands together and celebrate the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Can I invite the couples to come here in front just to come and stand here? Hallelujah. We thank God for what he has done for the civil marriage that went well, which was glorious. We are now preparing as you'll be going to the north for the church wedding and the reception and everything and everything we need God. I want us to stretch our hand towards God. We are standing here representing the family and we pray that God's hands will be upon them. And I pray that you bless them. Wish them whatever you wish yourself. Every good thing you wish yourself, pray for them. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bring this wonderful couple before you. They have honored you. We pray that you will honor them. As they will be going, we 